Welcome to this video on Rhythm Bingo, which is an activity you can find near the start of your Primer Pack. Now, I've got a copy of the Primer Pack here. Your wonderful classroom music teachers in your schools will have ensured that you have a copy of this. And thanks to all their amazing work, I've actually been able to see um, all of my beginner classes once or twice already this term. We're only four weeks in to 2022, and I've already seen pretty much everyone. And yet, here we are, working from home. Um, maybe I won't get to see your class this week, but we have some great stuff to cover anyway. Um, I'm going to skip past page one and page two, the welcome page and the book list. These are pages that hopefully all uh, parents have already read through with their children. We have crotchets and quavers. We will have done that marching and clapping activity in class already using the National Anthem or Uptown Funk. We have part two, mixing things up. You've probably had to practice clapping this forwards, backwards, uh, reading it forwards, reading it backwards. You, you get the idea every which way. We're skipping past part three as well, so that we end up at part four, Rhythm Bingo. Now here's how the game's going to work. I'm going to pick one of these patterns. I'm going to buzz it for you on my trumpet mouthpiece. Now, classes that have their mouthpieces already, you're welcome to buzz it back to me using your tongue to start all the notes. And classes that don't have your mouthpieces yet, um, can you please clap the rhythm back to me? So, for example, if I was to take the very first pattern, top left in your grid here, uh, the rhythm for it, at this speed, would be T, 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 ta. Hopefully everyone is familiar with those symbols by now, whether or not you've done music before, we've done them in class. Um, so, I would buzz that pattern for you. And people with mouthpieces, uh, you would buzz it back to me. If you don't have a mouthpiece, you would clap it back to me. T, 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 ta. But there's a twist. We need to engage your imagination a bit more than that. So, instead of just going, I play, you play, can we try it this way? I play, you play it back silently in your head, I play it again, you copy it back. Now, clearly I can't tell how you're actually going with this because I'm here in my house, you're in your house, and I can't hear what you're doing. But I'm going to presume that you can handle this because we've done a bit of this kind of uh, clapback activity before. Um, here's the deal. I do it first, you silently play it back in your head. I do it a second time, you clap or buzz it back. Let's give this a go. I'm not going to pick the top left because you just heard that one. Um, here is a different pattern. This one is somewhere in the second line of rhythms. Somewhere in there. Can you please work out which one this was, sing it back in your head, and then copy it back. First plane goes like this. One, two, three. And stop. You should have just finished either clapping or buzzing that back to me. Um, hopefully you could work out which one that was. I'll give you five seconds to think, and then I'm going to tell you the answer. It was, in fact, row two, column two. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. Can we try that together? Either clapping or buzzing on your mouthpiece. One, two, together. If you're buzzing, your sound may not be as strong or as clear as mine yet. Just think about breathing through the corners of your mouth, keeping your lips in an mm shape, and using the tip of your tongue to start every single note. Uh, lovely, here's one from line three. Can you please try and work out which this one is? Sing it back in your head, listen again, play it back. Uh, all right, sounds like this. One, two, three. And stop. You should have just finished playing it back. Uh, work out which one that one was. Um, and can you please tick it? I'm not going to tell you the answer. Tick which box you think I was just playing then. 
As an aside, if you're someone who doesn't actually have a copy of the primer pack yet, maybe it's at school somewhere, um, maybe you haven't had a chance to see your music teacher and they were going to print one for you, you can also find it on my website at musiclessonswithmrtaylor.com. You go across to resources, click. If you're on an iPad or a phone, you might have a little three dot button that you click there to bring up the different pages. Go to resources. You guys are first year players, so you're gonna click on that. And right under term one, the basics, you can see primer pack for trumpet, primer pack for trombone, and primer pack for baritone. Obviously, download whichever one is correct for you. If you're a trombone player, you click download file for primer pack trombone. If the internet is working, up comes the primer pack, and you would then scroll down until you get to part four, rhythm bingo. There we go, primer pack for trombone. Scroll, 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 and part four is rhythm bingo. Just like that. All right, let's continue on. I'm gonna do a different pattern this time. I'm not gonna tell you which row it's from. You need to sing it back in your head, then you need to listen again, and play it back or clap it back. Okay, here we go, next example. Sounds like this. One, two, three. Okay, please find that example. Somewhere in your grid you will see that. Please find it and give it a tick. All right, next example. Somewhere else on the sheet you will find this rhythm. We're only gonna do two more. If we were doing this in class and I could actually hear what you were doing, I would do as many as I could until someone had four in a row, or four vertically, four diagonally. You get the idea. All right, next example sounds like this. One, two, three, four. something a little tricky about this, so I'm going to do that one more time. Here's how it sounds. One, two, three, four. Here it is again. And stop. Okay, see if you can work that one out. And for the very last example, sounds like this. Last example. One, two, three, four. Okay. Take a moment, work out which one you think that one was, and give it a tick, please. All right, now here's the funny thing. Um, this sheet is called Rhythm Bingo, but that's not where it ends. What we're gonna do with this is a little bit trickier. It says down the bottom that that's really a bit of a trick, a ruse or a red herring, and a red herring is basically like in a mystery story where they set it up so it looks like one person was the culprit, one person was the one who committed the crime, but then it was actually someone else entirely. Yeah, we played Rhythm Bingo, but that's not the goal. The goal is that you are going to write me a piece of music using eight of these rhythm patterns. So any eight of these, you experiment with them, you find some combinations that you think work well together. Uh, let's say I was to take the last two that we used just then. I think it was, from memory, let's see if I can remember, I think the second last one was row two, column one, T, 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 ta. And then let's say I wanted to combine it with the last one I did. Rest, T, T, ta, ta. Um, I would experiment with that. Uh, I've got a mouthpiece, so I'll just try buzzing it for you. One, two, three. Go, you know what, that actually works pretty well. I'm gonna use that. So that might be the first two patterns in my piece of music. Now, the exciting thing here 
is that you do not have to use your mouthpiece to perform this for me. You have to complete this at home. You need to put together eight of these patterns in whatever order you like. You're not allowed to just pick ta 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 and do it eight times. That's boring. It needs to be more interesting than that. Um, but you can perform it by drumming on chairs. You could perform it by tap dancing. I had someone do tap dancing last year. It was amazing. Great job, Hannah. Um, you could do armpit farting if you know how to do that. Uh, if you don't know how to make a fart noise with your armpit, um, well, I don't want to be the one to teach you that. Or you could mouthpiece buzz, you could sing it, you could do whatever you like. But I want to give you a slightly different example. Um, if I had a drum kit here, I would use that. Because I don't, I'm just going to grab my laptop and plug a little keyboard into it, and you're going to hear my version. This is the first four rhythms of mine, but you're going to hear them played with a drum kit sound, and it's going to show how these patterns we're learning now are used all over the place. They're used on drums, they're used on guitars, they're used in electronic music. You'll hear these kind of patterns all the time. Uh, so, just so you know, my pattern is bottom right, bottom left, row two, column two, and then I'm going to finish with row one, column one. So, I'm going one, two, three, four. Obviously, for your one, it needs to be twice as long. You need to have eight rhythms in your piece, but how you perform them is up for you, up to you. Uh, so here's how it would sound while I'm getting the computer ready. My whole pattern would go at that same speed. T T T T ta ta T T ta T T ta ta T T ta ta. T, 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 ta. Okay, just sounds like a bunch of tars and TTs. Now, I plug a keyboard into here to get drum sounds, because I haven't got an actual drum kit in here. And let's see if it sounds more like music. Here we have the world's tiniest keyboard. Hopefully you can hear that, it's running through the little computer speakers, so it's not very loud. You can imagine that it sounds enormous. Um, here's my piece. One, two, three. <sighs> kind of sounds like drums. Um, and I would love to add in the other drum parts as well. I don't think it's going to work standing up. Uh, let's see, this would just be the first little bit with some other drums there. One, two, same thing again. Okay, kind of sounds like drums. I wish you could hear that at full volume. Um, it's not going to work for just now, but you get the idea. If there's a drum kit at your school in our lesson room, I'll show it to you on proper drums. But that's the plan. Take eight of those rhythms, string them together in an order that you think sounds good. Obviously make sure you can say them correctly and keep a steady beat. And then work out how you're going to perform it for me. Oh, maybe you could put words to it. Maybe it could be a rap. Okay, you've got the ideas. You've seen how it goes, we've played a bit of rhythm bingo, I look forward to playing the full rhythm bingo with your whole class when I can be teaching in schools again. Um, I haven't got COVID by the way, I'm not COVID positive, it's a household thing. Have a wonderful week, I look forward to hearing your compositions. Bye.